a basis. Put a little squiggly under there for a subspace S of Rn is a set V1 through Vk of vectors in S such that the following two conditions hold. The first condition is that S is the span of those vectors. The second condition is that those vectors are linearly independent. You might ask, okay, well, we already know that S is spanned by the vectors V1 through Vk, so that tells us all we need to know about S, right? Well, the idea for number two is we want to specify S with as little information as possible. We don't want any redundancy. We don't want any waste. Some examples. The standard unit vectors in Rn form a basis, and this basis because we use it so commonly, is called the standard basis. So this is called the standard basis of Rn. Put a little squiggly under standard basis. We've seen already that the vectors 1, 3, and 2, 4 span R2. But these vectors are also linearly independent. So they are also linearly independent. And therefore, by the definition of basis, they form a basis for R2. However, this basis is not the only basis of R2. In fact, the previous example gives us another basis. The standard basis of R2 is 1, 0, 0, 1. So this guy is also a basis for R2. More generally, this is a kind of a warning, a subspace, unless it's the zero space, unless it's trivial, has infinitely many bases. Now, when I said unless it's zero, well, this guy here, that guy has no bases. No bases. Why is that? Well, because the only vector in that subspace is the zero vector, and any set containing the zero vector is linearly dependent. So it has no bases. This will make even more sense when at the end of this lesson we talk about dimension. Next, let P be the plane through the origin with direction vectors about 1, 3, 5, and 2, 4, 6. We already know that P is a subspace of R3, and we already know that these two vectors, being the direction vectors of P, span P. But these two vectors are also linearly independent, and that's true of any set of two direction vectors of P, or of any plane. So therefore, the set of these direction vectors form a basis for the plane. So therefore 1, 3, 5 and 2, 4, 6 form a basis of P.